Hello again. In this chapter, I'm going to show you around a Wikipedia page and also introduce you to some of the tools that you'll be using. So this is what a typical Wikipedia page might look like. And in a way, it's a bit like a piece of paper where this is the front of the page, but there's actually a whole lot of information on the back too. Behind each page is something called the talk page, where there is information about that page which is also where any conversations or debates take place about that page. If other editors have identified an issue, they will often unpack those issues and have a conversation about it on the talk page, perhaps about terminology or relevancy or about the structure of the different sections. Next up, you have the Edit tab. When you edit Wikipedia, this is where you will spend most of your time making edits to the page and then publishing them. And editors spend lots of time going back and forth between the edit tab and the published article page. So when you click on the edit tab, you will see an editor load. And then you can go in and add content throughout the page. So this is generally the process. You go to the edit tab, you make some changes, you publish those changes and republish the page. The page is now live on Wikipedia. There are actually two different types of edit fields, which are like two different ways of editing. So if you're brand new to Wikipedia, we recommend that you use the visual editor, which is what you're seeing here. You've got some formatting tools at the top that look a bit like a standard word processing platform, and you can add some content to the different sections. So as you can see, it's quite friendly in terms of editing. But sometimes you might log in and you will find that you're actually in what's called the source editor, which features all kinds of markup code as well. It's a bit more challenging to edit in the source editor because as you can see, there's all of these symbols and letters and links. It's a lot more cluttered with that code. So it makes it a little more confusing to see where you are. If you log in at any point and for some reason you're in the source editor, just switch back to the visual editor. It can be a lot, but remember you can always rewatch these chapters if you need to. And lastly, each page also has a history page that shows every single edit that's ever been made to this page, line by line, date by date, editor by editor. So every edit on Wikipedia page is recorded here forever. There's the date, as you can see, the editor's name or IP address, the size of the change they made, and a bit of a summary or description of, of what they changed. Every time you publish an edit on Wikipedia, you ask for something called an edit summary, which is a description of what it was that you just did. It might be to create a page or add a reference, like the descriptions you're seeing here. And that description will show up on that history page once you've published it. But the other reason that it's useful to know about the history page is that, as you can see, there's actually an undo button next to every edit. So if you accidentally delete something on your page, don't worry because you can just go to the history tab and undo it to a previous version. So you can be bold with your editing because it's a really difficult platform to break and you can undo anything at any time. So that's the anatomy of a Wikipedia page. In the next chapter, we're going to go through the process of editing an existing page in some more detail.